Uh, I suppose the best thing to do about the reciprocal, it's got a lot of uses, but we're just going to tell you what it is. It is a fraction flipped over. Or basically, you just switch the numerator and the denominator. Switch the numerator and then the denominator. And it's a pretty simple little thing here. For example, if you have 3 eighths, the reciprocal of that, the reciprocal of 3 eighths simply is. 8 thirds. Okay, the reciprocal of 1 fifth is 5 over 1. Uh, if you had a mixed number, if you had 3 and 1 third, and you needed to find its reciprocal, you would have to make it improper, first of all. 3 times 3, we've done that right. 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1, it's 10 thirds, and then the reciprocal of 10 thirds is tenths. It just means you flip the numerator and the denominator. Don't put any more into that. Now what about a whole number? What about the reciprocal of 8? The reciprocal of 8 would be, anybody speculating here? Kelsey? No, because that's what it starts out being actually. Reciprocal of 8 would be, yes, 1 eighth. Now, an important thing to realize here, when you look at these reciprocal things here, is what do you suppose you get any time you multiply a fraction by its reciprocal? If you multiply a fraction by its reciprocal, is by its reciprocal. For example, let's say I've got, well, let's do the one we did up there. If you take 3 eighths and multiply it by 8 thirds, guess what you'll get? Actually, no. Calvin? One. You do, because you multiply across here, you get 24 over 24, and that is 1. Okay? You. Oh boy. Why owe you get 1? There's a chance to write that down because I need a fresh board here, maybe. And that works for all of these. Take a look. 1 fifth times 5 over 1, you would get 5 over 5, which is 1. 8 over 1 times 1 over 8, you'd get 8 over 8, and that equals 1. 10 thirds times 3 tenths, you'd get 30 over 30, and that equals 1. Okay. So the book will, will throw this at you, try to get you to think a little bit. They'll go uh, 1 third times, and then they'll put a big box here, equals 1. Or maybe they'll go a big box times 5 eighths equals 1. Anytime you see something that looks like that, that, as long as it's multiplication, you automatically know what numbers, what, what goes here and what goes there. Peter, what goes up here? Which is the same as 3, so you can just write 3, but 3 over 1 would be the answer. And this one over here, what times 5 eighths, Jacob? 8 eight fifths times that would give you 1. And I'll do a little bit of that. This comes in pretty handy a little bit later on. Um, I don't know what they're asking us to do here. Uh, another thing they might do is this. How many 3 eighths are in 1? How many 3 eighths do you get out of 1? 
Now think about that. What they're actually asking you is just what we're talking about there. Uh, what number times 3 eighths will give you 1? How many 3 eighths can you get out of 1? That's really, you know, it's division kind of like backwards, which is multiplication. How many 3 eighths will give you 1? Which, Alexa, you'll say, okay, it's 8 thirds. Unfortunately, though, when they ask you the question like this, you have to change that back into a mixed number. So you're going to have to say, okay, 3 goes into 8 two times. So actually, you end up with 2 and 2 thirds is your answer. And then they also ask you this question, 1 divided by 3 fifths. Now you're getting into some pretty high, heavy-duty math here. What is 1 divided by 3 fifths? Well, it's the same thing we just talked about here. You're asking, any, any division problem is really a, a backwards multiplication problem. You're really asking 3 fifths times what number equals 1. That's what this problem really is. Okay, because you're saying how many 1, if you, how many 3 fifths can you get out of 1? That's what you're asking there, dividing that. And the answer to that would be, Michael? 1 and 2. Well, it's 3, it's 5 thirds. So it's actually 1 and 2 thirds. You're close, because it's, it's reciprocal. So be careful. When you see this problem, it just means do its reciprocal. When you see this problem, you do its reciprocal. And you can talk reciprocal because it's just kind of fun to say. Reciprocal. Reciprocal.